Okay, so that first uh, line there says any diameter is a chord, but chords may also be shorter than a diameter. So a chord just connects, we wrote down this definition on Thursday, a chord connects two points on a circle. So if we look at this diagram right here, A, B would be considered a chord. A, B would be considered a chord. It's not a diameter. It doesn't go through the center of the circle, uh, but it connects two points on the outside of the circle. We could also draw a chord from B to C, or from B to A, or from A to C. Those would all be examples of chords. Now what we're going to focus on today is the it is an angle of measure less than 180 degrees. So essential angles are always going to be less than 180 degrees. This is the key. The vertex is at the center of the circle. The vertex has to be at the center of the circle. Because we're going to look at some other angles within a circle, but their vertex is somewhere else. So to be a central angle, the vertex has to be at the center of the circle, and then the sides, of course, would then be radii. So, for example, a central angle here would be angle AOB. Okay, AOB would be the central angle. O is the center of the circle, so the vertex for that angle is center of the circle, and OA and OB are radii of the circle. Now, every central angle splits a circle into two arcs. Two arcs. And by the arc, I'm referring to portions of the circle. Uh, so the minor arc lies in the interior of the central angle. It is always less than 180 degrees. Think minor less. Okay? Minor arc is less than 180 degrees. The major arc is the remainder of the circumference of the circle. So I'm going to let y'all write all that stuff down and then I'm going to point it out on the. Okay, so let me point these things out on the circle here. Um, I already talked about the central angle. AOB is what we consider to be the central angle right here. Okay, so it's talking about this part of the angle right here. That's just a little, like a little curved line right there indicating an angle. Okay, the chord AB, I think that's pretty obvious. The minor arc, ACB. So whenever they give you an arc, you start just like with an angle. You start with that first letter, you go around the circle to the second letter, and you end up at the third level. So what I have traced here in purple is what we consider the minor arc, ACB, and the major arc is the other side of the circle, A. D, B. So a lot of times they'll put a random point on the circle just so that you know which direction uh, you're supposed to be going with your um, arc. Okay, so the purple is the minor, the blue is the major. Okay, notice the minor is smaller. Um, half of your circle would be 180 degrees. That is less than half of the circumference of the circle. Uh, the major arc is obviously more than half of the circumference of the circle, so it is the major arc. Now, um, you can, I kind of breezed over it, but you could just uh, name the minor arc. You can name it arc A, B. You can just name it using the initial and terminal points, but that's only for minor arcs, can you only use two letters? Major arcs, you have to have three letters. Minor arcs, you could use three or two. Um, so it's kind of whatever 
can mention you prefer, but just be aware that you can use three or two for the minor R. Okay? All right, so here's what we need to know about these, though. The degree measure of a minor arc is equal to the measure of the corresponding central angle. So if you know, if they tell you the measure of the central angle inside the circle, you know the measure of the corresponding minor arc and vice versa. The degree measure of a major arc is 360 degrees minus the measure of the corresponding minor arc. Okay, so if you know the minor arc, you can just take it away from 360 degrees because there are 360 degrees in a circle. So, uh, I'm not sure why I have this line on my picture. <clears throat> so let's look at this diagram. Okay, same picture from before, but we're actually going to put some measures on it. It says, suppose that in the diagram to the right, the measure of AOB is 160 degrees. So this angle right in here is 160 degrees. So the measure of ACB, the minor arc, is going to be the exact same as the central angle. Okay, the central angle is 160 degrees, so the measure of ACB is 160 degrees. So that means we have how much left over for the major arc? 200 degrees. We have 200 degrees left for the remainder of that arc. Okay, um, and then part C says on the diagram to the right, show possible locations of a point X so that the measure of arc AX is 90 degrees. So there are two places that you could put that point so that when you start at A and you end up at that point, you end up with 90 degrees. So I'm going to give you a second. I want you to... Okay, so this is what I have that straight line... Oops, wrong thing. Straight line here for... Was to illustrate that is about a 90 degree angle right here from OA and then using this line that creates about a 90 degree angle. Let's just off just a little bit. Um, so point X could be here or it could be here on this side. Either way that creates approximately a 90 degree angle right here in this in the center of the circle <clears throat> which means the arc ax would be 90 degrees itself and so a few people that had one or the other of those okay let's fill in the rest of these blanks two arcs have the same measure if and only if their central angles are congruent so that kind of makes sense since the measure of the arc is the same as the measure of the central angle, our two arcs are only going to be congruent if their central angles are congruent. Kind of one of a lot of the geometry theorems are kind of like, well, duh. But anyways, um, the measures of two minor arcs are equal if and only if their corresponding chords are equal. Or congruent. Congruent is another word for equal. So we can also use the chords here to talk about it. Um, so, for example, in the picture that I just drew, if I drew a chord here from A to X, and if I drew a chord here from A to X, those chords should have the same length. Um, Tyler, you're now good. Okay, those chords should have the same length because my angles are supposed to be the same there. Alright. 
Time for some practice. Gotta get the sheets.